fuck is going down, everybody? It's your boy the Saucman X. Check it back at your niggas with another goddamn video today. So, anyways, your boy the Saucman is back with your niggas with another video today. Anyways, we gotta make a quick ass video, quick ass motherfucking video predicting the Eastern Conference Finals in this bitch. And I'm gonna get through this shit right fucking quick because there's no need to even make this goddamn video 15 minutes long because it's really not much to talk about, my nigga. There's really not much to talk about. So, the end Eastern Conference Finals, of course, has been official since yesterday. We uh, have the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Boston Celtics, my nigga. And uh, the first game starts on Sunday. So, we're not going to be able to watch a goddamn game for the next two fucking days. So, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Because I'm going to be promoting this shit in the fucking comment sections and shit. Because I'm going to be getting massive amounts of views, obviously. But, Eastern Conference Finals. Okay, we got the Eastern Conference Finals in this bitch. And we have the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Boston Celtics. So, I'm going to go breeze by through this fucking shit. Because the actual series is not going to take that much lo to take that long to predict. But, I'm going to review both of the fucking series, my nigga. Okay, well, I'm going to review both of those motherfucking series. So, we already know a few days ago, uh, the Boston Celtics officially closed out. Officially fucking closed out the Philadelphia 76ers. And, once again, I am 100% correct again. Okay, that's my... What was my fucking record again? It was like 6-2, and 10-2. and two. So, I'm 10-2 and two right now. We already fucking know... 10 and 2, still 100% correct on my predictions, correct about every series this round, and if you watch the video that I made, uh, uh, East, uh, I mean, fucking Eastern Conference semifinals predictions, Boston Celtics versus Philadelphia 76ers, I predicted the fucking Boston Celtics to win the series in five games, and I told you niggas that I'll be surprised if the shit actually went six games. So I am 100% correct on them winning in five games. The only difference is that I predicted the Sixers to win game three and not game four. And that was the only fucking thing. And the series could have obviously easily went six fucking games, my nigga. But anyways, huge fucking shout out. Not only to my fucking correct prediction, because I was correct on that fucking shit. But I was also correct about the main niggas stepping up. Okay, we already know huge fucking shout out. Which I, I don't know why the fuck I forgot to mention this nigga. I, I don't know why the fuck I forgot to mention who arguably is the best player in the entire series. But huge shout out to Terry Rozier, obviously coming out the gate ever since game one started. Nigga dropped like 27 goddamn points. I knew this nigga was going to be dominated, of course, because he's young, high potential. You can't really stop this nigga. Also, give it up to my nigga um, 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 Al Horford, proving my fucking point, proving, you know, his amazing all-around goddamn play. But I was completely, completely forgot about my nigga Jason Tatum, who is arguably the best player in the entire fucking series. We already know this motherfucker is a scoring goddamn machine. So, I am correct on my fucking prediction. And, of course, as expected, Ben Simmons is overrated as shit. I told you niggas that he was overrated. And I told you he was going to fall off of the goddamn map. And he did not show the fuck up in Game 5, okay? Only nigga that was actually showing up was Joel Embiid. Just shout out to Joel Embiid actually playing fucking good in the goddamn series. But we already know Game 1, okay? Game 1 was kind of expected. Game 1 and 2 is kind of easily predictable, which I was also right. I was also fucking right about... The goddamn Boston Celtics having no chance to lose on the road. Maybe they niggas lost at home, but, I mean, lose at home. Maybe they win. They, I predicted them to win all their games at home and having no chance to lose at home and win one on the road. It's always right about that shit as well. But, um, game one and two is obviously predictable. We already know Terry Rozier, Marcus Smart also playing the amazing fucking defense. And, you know, the fucking, uh, Ben Simmons. I mean, you only have fucking Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid and fucking J.J. Redick and all these stupid-ass niggas. Shooting that like, goddamn three pointers, of course you're not gonna fucking handle. You don't have the depth, you don't have the coaching that the fucking Boston Celtics have, my nigga. But in game three was an amazing fucking game. Game three was a really amazing fucking game because we already know that shit went down to the wire, went down to overtime. Al Horford got a nice ass steal. The fucking Sixers were supposed to win it at the buzzer. I think JJ Redick took a three point shot and he made the fucking shit, but it was actually a two pointer and it went to overtime. And in overtime, you already fucking know the Boston Celtics showing up in the clutch. Al Horford coming up with the clutch ass fucking steal. But, game four, that's where them niggas dominated. I told you niggas, the, the niggas was going to bounce back. And game five kind of went down to the wire. But you already know the Boston Celtics were going to pull through, making those threes, making those clutch-ass shots. So they won in five fucking games. Now going on to the Toronto Raptors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers series, which that shit was a fucking sweep. I predicted the, as I said, you know, after game two, I believe it was last week, after game two fucking edit, I already told you niggas, I was like, damn, this shit is over. You know, like... The, the fucking Cavaliers and the Raptors series. First of all, the little bitch-ass fucking Raptors fans. Where the fuck are you niggas at, okay? I, where the fuck are you niggas at? Niggas just disappeared in the comment section. All you stupid-ass motherfuckers. And I was literally starting to hate. I actually did. I actually started to hate Raptors fans more than I hated Warriors fans. Because these niggas are getting fucking pathetic. That's what I really... That's why I hate on a team in the first place. Only reason I hate on a fucking team is because... 
Their fan base is fucking cancerous and their fan base is delusional and their fan base stay all, all fucking season. Me putting them niggas on the Toronto Raptors, number two on the top five most overrated teams list. Everyone's like, oh my god, you're wrong. And the look at the fucking uh, Raptors. Oh, we got a 60 win back. The fuck at it with that shit. It doesn't even matter. No matter how much, how better the Raptors become, they will never amount to shit in the playoffs. They always choke in the playoffs. We already fucking know that shit. We all know that fucking shit. I roasted them a few times. So we already know game one in that fucking series. My nigga, we already know game one in that fucking series. You got uh, LeBron James also dropping like a triple double. You know what that nigga said. He had a bad game or whatever. But it went to overtime. Raptors, some have put up a fight. But then again, it's as expected, choking like a little bitch in overtime in game fucking two. Oh my fucking God. Game two. Oh my God. That was a fucking catastrophe. LeBron James dropped 40 fucking two fucking points. Making all kinds of fadeaway jump shots. And then this random fucking turn, LeBronzo came out. Because that nigga pretty much owns the goddamn team. And after that game, I, I don't even... I mean, I watched game three and I watched game four. I didn't give a fuck about that shit. Because you're no goddamn motor niggas going to sweep. So they just beat the shit out. Game three... Game three is more like an off game, okay? Game three was more like a, a, more like a fucking... um. It was pretty much an exhibition game. It was already a sweep after the first two games. Then it became an exhibition game in game three. Because the Raptors are so fucking pathetic. And then the Cavaliers kind of just took it easy. Them niggas took it easy, my nigga. You know what I mean? But alongside, take away from LeBron James, maybe playing so amazingly, dropping 30-something points, we already know, and this proves, see, this fucking proves why LeBron James, when he makes the NBA Finals, and yes, of course, I'm predicting him to make the NBA Finals, when the nigga makes the NBA Finals, he's going to be on some crazy shit. And this is what I really about LeBron James. I don't know about last season or the season before. All I know is that this season... LeBron James, whenever LeBron James is pressured more, whenever LeBron James is more counted out, every time LeBron James is counted out, the better he becomes. The more stat the more that's stacked against LeBron, the better he fucking becomes. And that's only gonna be better as the playoffs roll around, my nigga. But when it when he feels like he can easily beat a team like the Raptors have the game two, he takes it easy. Game three, four was an exhibition game, so that's why I got in the clutch in the first place. Okay, who the fucking I don't even remember that nigga's name. A fucking, I forgot that nigga's name. He was like some random ass player dropping 20 something points. But, you know, it damn near went to overtime. LeBron just hit a game winner with the fucking buzzer, my nigga. So that was a nice little floater game winner and shit. But game four, easily whooping that ass. But if you take away LeBron James, huge shout out to my nigga Kevin Love. Huge shout out to my nigga Tristan Thompson. That nigga's also stepping up, getting those offensive rebounds. The Kardashian curse finally fucking gone in Cleveland, at least. And huge shout out to J.R. Smith. Finally hitting fucking three-pointers for once. You know what I mean? But Tyron only used to do a shitty-ass fucking coach. But you don't really need anybody else on the goddamn team. We have LeBron James playing like that. But anyways, conference finals. Kyle Rousey speak through that fucking shit. Trying to make this video short. But conference finals, my nigga. Eastern conference finals. Back-to-back. -back. Okay, last season, them niggas played the Boston Celtics and they won in five games. This season, they're playing the same exact fucking team. So, we got the Boston Celtics versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, this is going to be some crazy-ass fucking shit, my nigga, because... First off, it like the Boston Celtics are actually playing much better <laughs> than they did last season. Even when Isaiah Thomas was healthy back when he was dropping like 29 points. I don't know how to, I don't know what the fuck happened to that nigga in the LA Lakers. But um, you know, Terry Rozier, okay, you got like a big ass fucking high potential team. Just wait till Kyrie comes back. But he's not gonna come back at all in the fucking season. But that's the thing. Despite them being injured, they look like they have a better chance to play better than they did last season. Okay, and last season. In the, in the conference fight, you didn't have Isaiah Thomas. Who, else, who the fuck else did you have? You just had Avery Bradley, who had a game one and game three last season. But this year, you got Terry Rozier, and you got home court advantage. Y'all home, had home court advantage last season, but yeah, y'all niggas got home court advantage. But I would say that this series, they will, play, they will play better than the Raptors, okay? And if you are a Boston Celtics fan, if you are a Boston Celtics fan, you should be proud that you fucking are going to play better than the Raptors in the goddamn playoffs against LeBron James. Because at least you got something to celebrate over when he sweeps your ass. God damn. <laughs> at least you got something to celebrate. We play better than the fucking Raptors, even though they're supposed to be the best team in the East. And, you, and the Celtics were supposed to be counter -outs. You shout out the Celtics being the underdogs, making it to the conference finals. Barely won in the first round, but they won in five games. You know, they're supposed to be the underdogs being injured, but then the fucking shitty ass best team in the East, the Raptors, gets fucking swept. So at least you got some bragging rights after you get swept by LeBron, or I don't know if it's going to be a sweep or not, but I would say that, of course, this series would be like four to five games. It's going to be four to five games. I'm not going to sit here and say that, oh, it's going to go six, it's going to go seven. It's going to be four to five games, okay? LeBron James is going to dominate. If you have a chance of winning a game, it's going to be game one. You know what I mean? I really doubt that, you know, the, the Cavs are going to win game one. <laughs> we already know what fucking happened after the Cavaliers won game one last series. 
niggas get fucking destroyed them niggas in game two. So if y'all, so here's the here's a disclaimer. It's gonna be more than ten minutes, but here's a disclaimer. If the Cavaliers win game one, then they're sweeping. Okay, I'm saying it right here. I'm always right on my predictions. Apparently, I'm being so great on my predictions. If the Cavaliers win game one, they're sweeping. Okay, and if the Cavaliers lose game one, then they're going to they can potentially lose game two, but I really doubt that's gonna fucking happen. I would say that if the cat if the, if the Celtics are gonna win a game in this series, it will be game one. It will be game one, my nigga. So that's all I that's all I gotta fucking say about the series. You know, uh, Terry Rozier, you're gonna be playing amazingly. You know, you're probably gonna drop like a twenty something points. You're gonna have your spurts of greatness. Al Horford, you're gonna have your spurts of fucking greatness, my nigga. All that good shit. But LeBron James goes like forty something points, and he didn't really need a team, but he was gonna need Kevin Love a little bit and J.R. Smith and Tristan Thompson. They're gonna fucking show up. But I would say Cavaliers winning four or five. You have no chance of winning on the road. Anyways, I got the fucking Cavaliers winning this fucking shit in four to five games. If y'all win game one, then y'all lose in five. But it'll most likely be the Cavs and four. Anyway, you put a sauce on the chicken buckling out of your face.